Were you working um, on anything else while you were working at the Viper Room in that time frame? Yeah, I, I was work uh, sideways. I was teaching myself art. And what steps were you taking to teach yourself art at that time? Okay. Books, learning how to draw and uh, paint and uh, taking community uh, college classes. Honestly, I at was not expecting time, that. Did you uh, begin pursuing art at a, on a full-time scale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that come about? Well, I was working at, working at the Viper Room, taking classes. And then at, uh, uh, at one point, the club changed hands completely after a year, 2004. And I was given a choice of either keep working for these new owners or uh, Johnny out of his pocket was going to give a severance pay to whoever didn't want to work there uh, anymore. So I took the severance pay and then it helped me continue on to, to finish community classes, private classes, and then be able to transfer to uh, Cal State University. And did you get a degree from Cal State University? Yes, I did. What degree was that? BFA. What year? 2010. Um, after you received your BFA, did you continue to pursue art full-time? Yeah. Did Mr. Depp ever express an interest in your art? Yeah. When was the first time that happened? Well, first time you saw a painting in 2008. And then the next time was 20, uh, 2012. Uh, I had uh, made a painting and sent it to my best friend, uh, uh, email, uh, in an email, and uh, he forwarded it to Johnny, and Johnny emailed back saying, hey, when Isaac wants to sell that, uh, whenever he wants to sell that, to go ahead and get in touch with me because I want to buy it. Oh. Did Mr. Depp ever buy that painting? No. Why not? <laughs> Because when I brought over paintings, I had, I had moved back to uh, California and I, w I brought over a bunch of paintings for him to look at and see if he wants any to buy, buy any. And he looked at me and says, I got an idea. How about I be your patron? And we put together an art show, oh. make, some, make, make a body of work, and then we'll, I'll throw a party and invite people. And Dude. I'll sell the stuff for you and you could keep all the money. So he didn't, he didn't buy any paintings there. Instead, he offered me a complete patronship. Oh my God. So what did you understand he meant by um, this is becoming wonderful. your patron? Well, it was going to financially make it possible for me to just paint every day and put together a body of work. So that way then it could be sold. Hmm. How did he plan to do that? Objection to what he planned on doing. What did you understand he planned to do to, well, to could, make that possible for you? I could tell you, you I go. could tell you that uh, it, it, Dumb what objection. it included was that the next day I ended up moving into, he, 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 uh, I, I moved into a, a art studio penthouse at the Eastern Columbia building. It was, listen, I got a place for you to go ahead and Li uh, live and work and put the, this body of, of art together and uh, I'll take care of you. You don't have to worry about anything. And what was the place where you were going to live that Mr. Depp offered you? The Eastern Columbia building. Did you, um, did you take him up on that offer to live at the Eastern Columbia building? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how did that make you feel? I started crying is, oh. you know, one day you uh, one day you're in your mother's garage selling paintings for a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars on eBay. Next thing you know, you, you, it's an art show, and like you don't have to worry about deadly squat. Of course, of course, I was I was flipping out. Amazing. When did you move into the Eastern Columbia building? The next day after we met and we talked. Oh, look at him smiling. The next day. He can't help himself. The next day, <laughs> I get I get a phone call. From a guy named Kevin Murphy, who is working for Johnny, and I go to, and he says, "Hey, meet me at the, this address," and I go and I meet him, and here I am in front of this building, 
this is a beautiful building. This is like, you know, it's whatever, 13 floors, but it's like from the 1930s, some Art Deco, beautiful building. And I'm looking, I'll go, all right, this is unreal. What, there's going to be, you know, all right, it's going to be one of these apartments or whatever, one of these places here. I go in with uh, Kevin Murphy. He takes me all the way up to the roof. We go, we go to, uh, into penthouse two. This is such a and great this, witness. I walk in and I'm like crying, going, "This is a, it's beautiful." He's this got like me a, tearing up, you guys. A this is such a beautiful uh, story. Situation to me, Mr. Bridge. How long did you end up living at the Eastern Columbia Building? Three years and seven months. Um, Your Honor, I'd like to show the witness plaintiff's exhibit one sixteen. One sixteen. Oh my God, this is such a fantastic witness, you guys. Like he is so wholesome, so sweet. I was not expecting this story that he became an artist and he was a struggling artist and then Johnny Depp Am became I his patron. Him? Like, in a second, sir. oh my God, I thought he was going to be like his bodyguard or something <laughs> based on first impressions, right? Which also goes to show first impressions mean dilly squat, right? <laughs> Yes, people in the chat, I want Isaac to be my friend. I want him to be my friend. This guy is like, he's he's like like a ball of sunshine. I love him. And you can tell that Johnny is starting to look a little bit relaxed too, seeing him on the stand. Like you see him cracking a smile. You see him kind of like his 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 body just feel, it, it looks like he's just sort of like loosening up a little bit as he's talking. So this is this is such a wonderful, wonderful witness for him so far. I wonder how it's going to go with cross examination. But so far, even the opposing side has not objected to anything really that he said, other than some foundational ticky tacky stuff. But it's like those are so stupid because all you do is you just you get the 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 other lawyer to to figure out a new way to ask their question. So it just makes them a little bit better. And and right now, I mean. I don't even want to interrupt what he's saying. I'm sure the jury is super attentive to him right now. Like it just, he, he, he feels so warm and so endearing and so sympathetic. This guy is such a great witness for Johnny right now. I'm just going to pull up a paper copy of the 